Cape May, New Jersey is quiet in the winter. Few people stroll the streets, and even fewer brave the blustery wind that almost constantly buffets the beach itself. But out on the beach, to the west of Cape May City, there was lots of activity this winter, day and night. The Army Corps of Engineers and its contractor, the Great Lakes Dredge and Dock Company, were busy replenishing the beach. More than 300,000 cubic yards of sand was dredged from the bottom offshore and pumped onto sections of Cape May City, Cape May Point, and the Cape May Lighthouse State Park. Hello, uh, my name is Dandy Pasquale. I'm the project engineer for the Lower Cape May Meadows Beachville Project, which is where we're on, on the Lower Cape May Beach right now. Uh, what you're seeing happening right here is, out, out there is the uh, hopper dredge. Right now they're pumping the sand that they've dug from a bar area further out that way in the, on the ocean. Bar area in this case, I believe, is roughly five miles offshore. And uh, so they do a constant series of trips back and forth, back and forth. Now on the beach itself, once the, the, uh, the dredge hooks up to this pump out buoy, they pump the sand on the beach and you'll notice there's a giant basket. The purpose of this basket is to catch any potential uh, material, non-beach fill material, that is a certain size or larger. They're doing now, they're going to dig the basket out. They just did a pump off and they're going to drag the basket down to the water's edge and then we'll do a pre-rinse with the doors closed and they'll try to get as much sand out of the basket as possible. And then once it gets down below the door level, up and then we'll continue rinsing and we're going to get the shell and the remainder of the sand out. And the heavier objects, if any, are in there, any mech you know, conditions of concern, the dull will settle to the bottom of the basket. And then we'll rake, rake through the shells, whatever sand's left, and see if anything's in the basket. And if not, we'll close the basket up and I put it back online and we'll wait for another pump off. Once that sand is uh, pumped out of the basket and the basket's removed, you'll also notice that there's heavy construction equipment on the beach, bulldozers, things of that nature. What they do is they move the sand around into what we call a construction template. Uh, the theory is that we pile the sand uh, at elevation 6.75, which is a natural height of, a, of the berm in this area based on our studies. And they pile the sand on the dry beach a little bit into the water and over the next you know weeks and months it's, it works itself into what we call an equilibrium profile it achieves a slope that's more to the natural slope of the um, the berm that was there the beach that was there before we came you can see this almost fountain of water and sand spewing out of the the, the basket on the beach and what what's happening is when the sand is pumped from the hopper dredge to the beach it has to be fluidized in water in what we call a slurry mixture um, the sand itself could never be pumped as hundred percent sand through the through the pipe it would never make it it would clog up at the end of each pumping cycle the dredge clears the pipeline with water then sends a die pack through and times its arrival, making sure there are no obstructions That's in the cool. pipeline. That's cool. <laughs> and, uh, they measured the time it took for this project is somewhat unique in that it's a um, an ecosystem or environmental restoration project. Typically, in our district, when we do storm damage reduction projects or, or beach fill projects, we do them to protect uh, infrastructure behind the beach and dune buildings, boardwalks, real things. In this case, behind the dune, we have, as I said before, Cape May Point State Park and the Nature Conservancy's Cape May Migratory Bird Refuge. So in this case, we're protecting this freshwater ecosystem, which, by the way, is pretty unique in New Jersey. Actually, up and down the East Coast. moved along down the beach, along with pipeline added, and we continue this whole process all over again moving down the beach until 
The entire section of beach that we intended to fill has been beach filled. The sun sets across the Delaware Bay from Cape May Point. At the same time, the moon rises over Cape May City and its quiet streets. Out on the beach, the work continues. Floodlights at the ready, the cycle of dredging sand from the bottom, pumping it to the shore, then moving it into position to best protect the shore goes on. 